at 5.50, there's more chaos in the way in the shape of just Jimmy. Jimmy averaged an ABC network rating of 48 last winter, which is a great record for an early evening show. But comedy always goes down well around this time, so after half an hour of Jimmy, there's more laughter for the next 70 minutes. First, there are two programmes sharing the 6.20 slot. A couple of Mike and Bernie winter shows to start with, and then from the 20th of January through to the 9th of March, a brand new edition of Doddy's Music Box takes over. But I'll let him tell you all about it. Happiness, happiness. The greatest gift that I possess I thank the Lord that I've been blessed With more than my share of happiness The greatest hits and the latest pops They'll all be here on Dottie's music box The stars you love with the thrills you seek To bring you happiness week by week With country and western as rhythm and blues All the people who are in the news The top top performers who make the scene Happiness to your TV screen Happiness, happiness When the music plays All your cares grow less And that's why I am here, I guess To try and bring you lots of happiness There's Peter and Gordon They're here to sing Doddy's Music Box averaged a TAM rating of 49 across the ABC network last winter. Could you meet who could beat Tom Jones? All the Carnaby sets will be here, no doubt. The songs playing and with gear wear out. The dolliest of dollies will play their part. Bringing lots of happiness to your heart. Happiness, happiness, the greatest gift that we possess. So stay switched on and you all confess. The Doddy's Music Box brings happiness, 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 the greatest gift that we possess. So stay switched on and you'll all confess, the Doddy's Music Box brings happiness, the Doddy's Music Box brings happiness. Well, at seven, George and the Dragon comes back with Sid James and Peggy Munt. The show isn't in production yet, but here's a reminder of how it goes down with ABC viewers. Just for the record, George and the Dragon got an average rating of 37 in the Midlands and 39 in the North during May and June. At 7.30, the Saturday film is back in its old slot, and there are some really good movies in the winter list. Films with big names and big reputations, like Moby Dick. At ten past nine, the evening lineup switches to drama with a new series of Public Eye, and Alfred Burke stars once again as the investigator Frank Marker. Marker's not a glamorous detective, and he doesn't get glamorous cases. He doesn't even get glamorous girls. What he does get are people who are in trouble, the kind of trouble you can't see the police about, even if you're innocent. Oh, how's she? What? The girl I brought in, Miss Hinkman, how's she? She's in the theatre, Dr. Bowen, you know that. Yes, I know. I, I thought you might have heard something. No, of course not. She knew what my answer would have been. Well, innocent or guilty, Zia Moyedin's performance sets the tone for this new Public Eye series. True to life and compelling to watch. At a quarter past ten, we stay with drama when Armchair Theatre follows The Gamblers. Plenty of comedy in this series with stars like Beryl Reed and Bernard Cribbins, and including Noel Coward among the authors. And to add a touch of the macabre to the hour and keep the ratings in the top 30s, there are some new tales of mystery and imagination. Mr. Dunning, the gentleman left this. Oh? He said I was to be sure to give it to you. Oh, thank you, Whitaker. Good night. Good night. Very sinister. Two more programs wind up Saturday evening. First, at five past eleven, Kenneth Robinson opens the magic box for another celebrity. And at 11.35, it's time to remember time. Time for another half-hour glimpse of the good old days. And finally, time to say good night. Well, now, what about Sunday? Well, winter Sundays are going to start as strongly as ever with World of Soccer at 2.30. 50 minutes of the best of one of Saturday's biggest matches. Last winter, World of Soccer scored an average ABC network rating of 31, and this year should see it doing just as well. Next in line, at 3.20, comes Cimarron Strip, 
staying in the Sunday afternoon slot for another season and delivering the usual action. Well, at 4.45, we get more sharp shooting, only with less blood this time, when the golden shot returns in the hands of Bob Monkhouse. This is a very exciting part of the show for all of us, particularly Mrs. Shimon, because she's going to take a shot at that golden shot. And it stands at 100 guineas tonight, Mrs. Shimon. And you know that you have to cut through the thread at the center of the bullseye. You do that and we'll see a shower of golden coins like Jim Callahan only dreams of. But if you cut through the thread at any other point, not dead center, then the only shower we'll see will be tears. I'm afraid because that just won't count. It must be dead center that you cut the thread. And yeah. um, this is it. You nervous? Yes. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> all right, I just stand right there. That's fine. You can put one foot on. Yes, that's all right. Bernie, make sure you put it in nicely now. The bolt. Fine. Same position. Now, you have just... You have full 20 seconds. That's more time than you think. Just aim as surely as you can. And those 20 seconds start ticking off. Now. Golden Shot ends its run in mid-March and Candid Camera takes over with a whole new bag of tricks. We told you in the last preview about those ballet classes for Glasgow Dockers. Well, here they are. <laughs> last November through to January, Candid Camera averaged a TAM rating of 44 in the North and 44 in the Midlands. Well, at 5.30, following the golden shot and candy camera, there'll be more adventures of Skippy, and then the news and the close period at 6 o'clock. When the evening programming gets off the ground at 7.25, there are two shows sharing this comedy slot. First to return, and continuing up to the 18th of February, will be a new series of The Dickie Henderson Show. Hello, Pauline. Hi, Pauline. Pauline. Dicky, Dicky, sweetie. Pauline. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. Oh, so handsome and debonair. Mm, and you smell delicious. <laughs> what do I look like? I'm. I'm stunned. Yes, most people say I haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Still, I don't suppose I could get into my gym slip now. <laughs> Come in. The last series of the Dickie Henderson show achieved an average rating of 49 in the Midlands and 51 in the North. You look just the same! You mean, after all these years? Oh, no, silly. I mean, the same as you do on television. Oh. Oh, you have no idea what a thrill it's been seeing someone one knows so well, becoming so successful. Uh, Mind the footstool, do yes. sit down. Over here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, Inky, darling. Inky? Oh, don't you remember? I used to call you that. Oh, Inky. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you remember what you used to call me? Oh, uh, uh, don't tell me now. Uh... Well, it, it, it rhymes. Instead of Inky, it's... Kinky. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stinky? No. <laughs> pinky. Oh, Pinky, Pinky. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember why you used to call me Pinky? Well, I suppose it was because, uh, uh... On that nature ramble. Do you Make... remember? When I got into a difficult situation with my gym slip and you helped me out of it. I did? Oh, yes. Don't you remember? I got my skirt 
got caught on some barbed wire and you unhitched it for me. Oh. That was when you decided to call me Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> You've got an awfully nice place here, I must say. Oh, yes. I suppose. You're going to tell me now that you don't remember what happened behind the gym. Well, 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 what did happen behind the gym? Oh, I knew you'd have gotten. You'd be jolly proud of yourself when I remind you. I sure hope so. Oh, yes. You were magnificent. <laughs> I was? Oh, yes. If you remember, Tompkins was being rather beastly to me behind the gym. Tompkins was? Yes, but luckily you came along and rescued me. Oh. Well, I was on the boxing team. I was a bit useful in those days. Yes. <laughs> what did I do? Give Tompkins a good hiding? <laughs> you jolly well did. <laughs> <laughs> that was George Tompkins of the fifth. No, Priscilla Tompkins of the fourth. <laughs> yes. And you know, ever since then, I've, I've thought of you as sort of my Sir Galahad. Oh, <laughs> you know, I dream about you sometimes, especially after watching you on television. <laughs> I hope they're not nightmares. <laughs> Oh, dear, no. <laughs> Would you like it now or later? Well, when Dickie goes off the air, it's Tommy Cooper's turn in the 7.25 slot, and he romps back with a load of well-loved gags and tricks that always go wrong in a new series of Life with Cooper. Life with Cooper averaged an ABC network rating of 49 last January. Here's an army joke I'd like to tell you now. No, this is a good army joke. This is the best one I've ever stowed. Listen to this. <laughs> Another man on sentry, like this. Four o'clock in the morning, same time. A little bit, a little bit different. It's raining and thunder and lightning. Very dark, and he's on sentry like that, and he falls asleep. Which is a crime, isn't it? <laughs> on duty. Could be inside. Ten years. Like that. All of a sudden, the audit sergeant comes around, the audit officer, all the sergeant like that with a stick under his arm, big moustache like that. Hurricane lamp, all the officer, like that. Sentry! Sentry! This fellow's like that. <laughs> sentry! 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 Like that. <laughs> all of a sudden, the sergeant's right in front of him, like that, with a big moustache and stick like that. Look at him, like that. Hurricane lamp, all the officer here. This fellow's like that. <laughs> and he opens his eyes a little bit, like that. <laughs> Not much, just a little bit. And he can see it right in front of him like that. So he's got to think quick, hasn't he? Otherwise he's inside, 20 years. <laughs> so he goes, he opens his eyes and he goes, Amen. Well, now it's 7.55, and for ABC viewers, that means time for the big feature film. In the winter list are some big American features. Frank Sinatra and Debbie Reynolds in The Tender Trap, Bing Crosby and Grace Kelly in The Country Girl, Doris Day in Love Me or Leave Me. And there are some British classics, too, like The Cruel Sea and Ice Cold in Alex. What's our chance of getting through the minefield? In my foot. Well, at five past ten, we change pace again and go into the variety hour. This winter, that means the Palladium, some new variety spectaculars, and more shows from Morecambe and Wise. Last winter, variety hour achieved an average TAM rating of 56 in the Midlands and 57 in the North. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. First of all, I'd like to tell... <laughs> First of all, I'd like to tell you about some of the interesting people that we have on the show. I'm... I'm sure you're going to enjoy them very much. We have some great personalities. 
What are you doing? Well, it's fairly obvious what I'm doing, isn't it? Why? I'm trying to take a candid picture of you so I can show my children. They don't realize I know you, you know. You're a big star to them, huh? Wig and all. Oh, my God. I didn't know you were interested in it. I've always been interested in it. <laughs> then I realized I was getting too old for it, so I took a photography. <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Photography. Ah, well, there you are. So never the twins you'll meet. How about... What? What? If I pose and you take a portrait of me. I tell you what. What? How about if you pose and I took a portrait of you? That's what I just said. Well, will you speak up? I didn't hear. Oh. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Right. Because I know everything there is to know about this. Oh, these. you do? Oh, what? Right. Eh? F8. Pardon? F8. The what? You're using a, a, a fast shutter speed? 250? What ASA? The light's not very good, is it? What is he on? He lives in a dream world of his own. <laughs> what are you talking about? Photography. Oh, I, yeah? Yeah. I always use a filter. Well, he's walking too much. That's all <laughs> And there's just one more programme that takes us to the end of ABC's winter weekends in the North and Midlands and winds up this preview. I'm sure that I don't really need to give you the name. Yes, it's the Eamon Andrews Show, which will be on the screen every Sunday with more guests worth watching and be getting the sort of ratings it did last winter when it scored an average of 41 in the Midlands and 46 in the North. The scene will be late one Sunday night in the Garnet household. Um, <laughs> Yes. Mum chewing a bag of toffees and the kids are necking on the sofa, as usual. And I'm reading the paper and I say, uh, Look, how can I concentrate on my paper with you chewing them toffees and him licking her ear holes out there? <laughs> Disgusting. I'm going to bed. And then Rita will say, But Dad, aren't you going to watch the Eamon Andrews show? And I say, What? Sit up all for night and watch that misbegotten Irish git? <laughs> Coming up to all them film stars. Look, you know why he's over here, don't you? And Mum will say, no, but I suppose you do. And I shut up, you silly moo. <laughs> the reason he's over here, see, is because your Irish government has sent him over here to disrupt all our means of communication, see? <laughs> see? And when a word comes through from Dublin, see, all them, all them thick mix are digging up our roads, <laughs> cut all that national insurance money, see? They're all going to rise up and take over this country, and you know who's going to be in charge, don't you? Hey, you know who'll be up there number 10 Downing Street, don't you? Who'd be Prime Minister? I'm a bloody Andrew! <laughs> Well, that's it. Thanks very much indeed for watching our preview, and goodbye for now. <laughs>